Harry Patch is dead. A great man was buried today. I didn't know of him yesterday, but today he's my hero. Harry Patch, 111 years old. Believed to be the third oldest person in the world. Although why, why do reporters state facts like that? As if they're true beyond suspicion. That's an aside, but certainly with the population of China, Okay, Harry Patch. A citizen of England. Known as the last surviving British soldier to have fought in the World War I trenches. At 19. Uh, participated in the Battle of Passchendaele, where 3,000 British soldiers died per day, several days in a row. made the personal choice to avoid killing anyone. And when a German soldier charged at him and fellow British soldiers with a bayonet, he shot him in the leg. To save himself and the German, despite the fact that he was wearing enemy colors, Harry Patch saw him as a fellow human being. He didn't speak about the war for 80 years, and when a journalist tracked him down, uh, this journalist was trying to speak with the approximately 250 remaining soldiers who had participated in World War One. Harry Patch was willing to open up, share his emotions, his memories, his experiences. Relive those horrors in a way because he knew that if, if he didn't share that the lessons that he personally had learned would die with him. Two years ago, almost to the day. When he visited the location of the Battle of Passchendaele, which I'm assuming is Passchendaele, he said, quote, War is a calculated and condoned slaughter of human beings. End quote. Um, I'll put a, a few links here. Uh, a YouTube video that I'm going to attempt to make this response to if they accept it. An article uh, written in England that's that was written at his 111th birthday just a month and a half ago uh, that, that pretty well explains his history, his life. Um, I've not found the, the video interview with him. 
I'll be looking that. But I'm also going to give you a link to uh, another article. Tom York of Radiohead was quite influenced by Harry Patch. And uh, Radiohead has written a song as a tribute to him. The lyrics, I think, are taken almost directly. Oh, here's... Okay. Oh, no, that's the same video. Um, the lyrics to the song, which I, I think were taken from the Harry Patch interview, are... I am the only one that got through. The others died wherever they fell. It was an ambush. They came up from all sides. Give your leaders each a gun, and then let them fight it out themselves. I've seen devils coming up from the ground. I've seen hell upon this earth. The next will be chemical, but they will never learn. Anyway, an important question in my mind is which is more important? To fight for our freedoms or to free ourselves from fighting. In my own little crazy homage to Harry Patch. And heck, as long as you're here, as long as I'm here, as long as the scissors are here, how about a little embarrassing shout out to Ian? I hope Harry had a sense of humor. Some of you may at times wonder if my videos are serious or comical. But that question implies a false dichotomy. I think it's fair to say we can be both. I certainly look for humor in everything and for serious implications. <sighs> I'm glad we could have known you, even if indirectly and after your passing, Harry Patch. Long live Harry Patch.